Blue Bloods has been undergoing a lot of changes these days. It seems like the show is taking a small break, and recently, Eddie from the show was left in tears as she joined with Donnie Wahlberg for a new project. Here's what happened and some latest updates on the show. Eddie left in tears. Eddie married Janko Reagan is played by Vanessa Ray on the famous crime show Blue Bloods. Eddie is a long-serving police officer in the New York City Police Department on the show and also one of the main protagonists. The actress behind the officer has revealed that it isn't all work and no play on the show as some of the cast recently let their hair down in a nostalgic music video released by the showmakers. The video featured the cast having fun on the set and interacting with each other. Some of the members were wearing coordinated outfits too. But even though the video was supposed to be funny, it wasn't without its emotional turns, and Eddie said that she was left in tears because of it. This video came as a result of the boy band New Kids on the Block, who invited several friends to help them promote their new tour by recreating iconic 1980s pop videos and showing people jamming to some 80s music. If you're a fan of 80s music, you probably know that their mixtape tour 2022 starts in June this year. This is why the cast of Blue Bloods decided to get a piece of the fun. They all dressed to impress and rocked out to help the band spread the word about their tour and promote their music. Ray, who decided to help out her Blue Bloods co-star Donnie Wahlberg, lived her best 80s life in the Bring Back the Time official video remake. The song featured Salt and Peppa, Rick Astley, and On Vogue as well. The 40-year-old star shared several Instagram stories about the project and her 500 196,000 followers are just as excited as she is. She even captioned the post, a huge congrats to Donnie Wahlberg and NKOTB for bringing this joy to my life. And in her post, she also admitted that she cried the first time Donnie showed everyone the final project, admitting that her emotions boiled over as she saw everyone enjoying themselves in the video. Did you know that the video on the band's official YouTube channel already has over 873,500 views since it landed on March 3rd? And most of the credit for that goes to the Blue Bloods cast and their efforts to promote the music. Some fun behind the scene moments. Eddie also shared several behind the scene clips from the day of filming. In her post, she added, at Jillian Bell, got to come along and she of course found a dog, Lumpy. On her social media, she also revealed a photo of herself and Blue Bloods actress Marissa Ramirez wearing cute matching red and black club kid outfits. She also posted an image of her getting makeup done on the set. The caption talked about how this was her first attempt at being a vixen and she had to wear a trash bag instead of something nice. The playful video featured the cast playing homage to a variety of songs, including Journey's Separate Ways, A Flock of Seagulls' I Ran So Far Away, Robert Palmer's Addicted to Love, Devo's Whip It, Tony Basil's Mickey, and many more. Not just this, the video was introduced by Ralph McDaniels, who hosts New York City's Video Music Box. Wahlberg spoke to the press about this video and said that even though it might look fun and silly, it's a celebration of the music, the look, and the videos of that glorious era. He also said for the cast and the fans, the video is a depiction of the lovely relationship they share with each other. Loyal fans of the band and general music lovers have also shared their love of the comedy video. Fans commented on YouTube and praised the video for its wit and humor. Some even called it a love letter to the 80s because of all the music video references. Others also commented about how they love the nostalgia and the feel-good vibes in the video. It's always fun to see the cast interact with each other and fans dig all kinds of behind-the-scenes action too. And looking at all of the online praise for this video, it's clear why the video was such a success and also why it left Eddie in tears. Other Blue Bloods news. No more Blue Bloods episodes for a while. As you might already know, Blue Bloods is the CBS drama that delves into the lives of an Irish Catholic family of police officers called the Reagans. The show kicked off more than a decade ago and has created a legion of fans, which is still growing and adding more viewers who are excitedly waiting for another episode to drop. But many will be disappointed to know that this week's episode will be the last time it's seen for quite a while. The show returned for season 12, episode 13 last night on January 28th. This installed of the show saw Frank Reagan having to deal with a dirty cop in his own ranks. And during this time, Eddie and Belito were busy tracking down those responsible for the theft of rare works from the famous bookstore in town. The episode wasn't a quiet one for Erin either, as she went hunting into the background of a new woman in Anthony's life. We aren't sure if her detective work is going to pay off, but it seems like a lot of drama is definitely going to follow this decision. Even though things seem fine in the latest episode, it seems like there'll be no Reagan drama for several weeks. No new episode was slated for Friday, February. February 4th, which is the usual Blue Blood spot. And instead of that, a rerun of the series 12 premieres is going to be shown. What's more surprising is that old episodes of the drama will air in its time slot and no one knows why. What makes things worse is that an exact reason hasn't been given for this delay and the showmakers are silent too. But it's important to note that Blue Bloods isn't the only show to have a schedule shakeup. The entire NCIS franchise will be missing for the majority of February, which also includes the famous crime drama The Blacklist on NBC. Fans speculated that this 
this is most likely because of the return of the Winter Olympic Games, which started in early February. But a fixed return date for Blue Blood Season 12 wasn't listed. There was also no confirmation given about reruns being shown on February 25th, and no episode was listed for March 4th either. So fans will just have to wait a while before they find out when Blue Bloods is going to return. Wahlberg shares good wishes for his on-screen dad. Actor Donnie Wahlberg, who plays Daniel Reagan in Blue Bloods, used Instagram recently to share good wishes to his on-screen father. The star posted two photos of himself standing next to Selleck and wrote a moving tribute to the legendary actor in the caption. The caption read, Happy birthday to my TV dad and real-life friend and father figure Tom Selleck. He also mentioned that he felt immensely grateful to have Selleck in his life and that he was a great inspiration to Wahlberg. The actor also mentioned that he always felt blessed to be by Selleck's side and to have a small supporting role in the amazing legacy that Selleck has created. He jokingly added that Selleck would probably not see the post because he has absolutely no idea what Instagram is, but he still wanted to document this day and put up a birthday post for his on-screen dad. This is apparently because Wahlberg wanted to share his love for Selleck with the world and appreciate him for being a great actor and one of the best co-stars to work with. As you may already know, both the actors have shared a screen since Blue Bloods first landed in 2010, and with 12 seasons in, neither of the actors have shown signs of slowing down or leaving the show. It's also clear that they love working with each other. Abigail Hawk's touching tribute for Hessman. Abigail Hawk, who stars as Detective Abigail Baker in the show, took to Instagram recently to post a touching tribute after the death of Howard Hessman. Although he didn't make an appearance on Blue Bloods, the two actors had previously worked together in the 2016 film called A Christmas in Vermont. Hawk posted a cute photo of Howard Hessman and paired it with a lengthy caption. The caption was full of broken heart emojis, and Hawk remembered all the time she spent with Hessman. She mentioned how they used to have their meals together and also how they had the funniest conversations. Hawk said that Hessman had never met a barbecue joint or a riff of jazz that he didn't like. He also had the best stories about jail time and Ramutuel. She also misses how funny he was and how he had everyone laughing from his quick-witted barbs and banter. In the end, she concluded, I loved you, Howard. I love making a silly, sappy Christmas movie with you. Sending love to your family. The actor's manager, Robert Cass, confirmed his death to the world when he passed away at 81 years old in Los Angeles. It was later revealed he died from complications from his colon surgery, which he had in the summer of 2021. In a statement, Hessman's manager shared that he was a groundbreaking talent and a longtime client who was extremely kind and generous. Hessman will be missed by all who love him and will continue to be remembered for his great acting and respect for the entertainment industry. What do you think? Will Blue Bloods continue their hiatus? Did you see their latest behind the scenes video? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.